Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. Uh, I am doing a quick VGC battle video. This is with a team that I played actually at a event in the Netherlands. Uh, we went to Delft and I played with this. I ended up being going 3-3. Not that great of a result, but I really did enjoy the team and I want to kind of showcase it because it has the basic things of Sea Titan, Obama Snow, Amrush, and DD, like the first team that I made. But with a few differences, um, we do have... Oh, yeah, of course you can't show everything. Um, we do have the Poison, Hydreigon with Dragoini, Dark Post, Herblast, and Tailwind. We have Armorouge, and this Sea Titan is a bit different because it is a Terra Water Sea Titan. Uh, but I do have Earthquake just to be able to hit a few things as well because I do think it is pretty nice to hit some things still. Uh, we see a Hounds. Wow, we see. Houndstone could be terrifying in all honesty. But I don't really see a lot of answers versus Sea Titan. Which is gonna be just bulky defensively. We could have Indeedee for the extreme speed Dragonite shenanigans that are bound to happen as well. And just Hydreigon for the potential of the Houndstone trying to sweep us. Now Houndstone can be like a support set with Willow Espens such as well. But I am hauntingly afraid of the uh, Last Respect set. Okay. Oh, picture with all of them. I should have done that when I'm playing through. I should have. I really should have done that in my playthrough. So we see Miascarada plus Tarantar. Okay. Sandstream goes first up, but my bomb snow is so slow that he can put up his snow. Which is very helpful for me. Let's take a look. He brought these. So I do believe that the biggest threat to me is still that Tarantar. I am able to Terra Water, but I'm not going to Terra Water just yet. I am going to Veil. So Rock Slide would not, cannot kill me, should not be able to kill me. So I think I'm just able to Iso Crash into that Miascarada, in all honesty. Okay, we see the Iso Crash going off. Into the Mayaskarada, no sash, so we do manage to get that kill. Okay, let me see. Turn are going for Rock Slide. Now, thanks to the defense increase, my Pokemon will take that. Ooh, but my bomb has still flinched, meaning that is uh, kind of bad, actually. Because I wasn't able to get up my Aurora Veil. Volcarona coming in. Hmm. Could potentially keep my bonus snow still but i think i'm just gonna do this and terrestrialize into water type so i can get a kill on this well i could protect one more turn actually and terrestrialize water into this focal and i make it try and make sure that this goes down okay we drew the turret okay it was a smart move to protect with the bonus snow trying to keep my snow intact Last Pokemon being the Houndstone is able to go for last respects potentially. Now, if I'm able to kill this Tarantar, meaning they are able to go to just Houndstone. But I'm able to double switch them. Potentially. Okay, protect from my Bomber Snow. And I still have Slush Rush, so I will be faster thanks to my with my liquidation. We do. We do not manage to kill, but good damage at least. Even a berry on this Volcarona. It's a very bulky bulk Volcarona. See, going for Heat Wave. But that is fine. My Sea Titan is able to take that. I am now able to switch in into Indeedy on my Abomas Snow slot. Just making sure that I have my snow till the end of time. And I think I'm just gonna Earthquake in all honesty. This hits everything for a bit of chip. Uh, it might not kill the Volcarona. 
God, it might not kill every I guess I'll give them. We okay, if he switches in Titar, last respects, base 100 on my Sea Titan could very much be a KO. So I think I am gonna go for the liquidation on that slot there. Yeah, because Tarantar is gonna switch in. And the sand will come up as well. Treating my bomber snow into my Ndidi. Psychic terrain activating my psychic seed. Get terrestrializing the houndstone. Ghost going for that last respects or going for the kill, which he will probably get on my last respects. Doesn't affect the needy. Oh, what a good switch! And liquidation being able to do a lot of damage on this Tyranitar. Not a key, not for a kill, but enough. This is absolutely great for me because I am able to just. Follow me again, making sure that the Hanson doesn't go for an attack on me. And I'm just gonna Earthquake just for a bit of chip and making sure this Tarantar goes down. gonna do sorry for the silence there I was uh, I was uh, responding to a message okay follow me going out play rough that is fine we take that quite easily we see crunch do manage to get a kill on that but now I'm able to earthquake Making sure that the T-Tar does go down. I will be buffeted by the sandstorm, but I'm able to set up my snow yet again. Giving me that slush rush. I think I am just able to go for Blizzard plus uh, Liquidation onto the Volcarona slot. Just making sure the Volcarona goes down. Uh, and then the Houndstone has to pick its target as well. I still have my Hydreigon as well, which is faster than the Houndstone. There we go. Liquidation into the Volcarona, being able to kill that, which is very nice. I do get burned, which is unfortunate, but it was bound to happen in all honesty. Didn't happen the first time, so it had to happen the second time. Can you see last respects coming out? It is on my Sea Titan, which is fine because it was burned anyway. And now we can full scale blizzard power on a single target houndstone from this Obama Snow. I always forget that Obama Snow has like a tail. And a lot of damage. And Hanson should not have a move to for spread, so we are able to just switch in our Hydreigon, Blizzard again, and just Dark Pulse for game one. Okay, let's go to game. Let's go to the next battle. This team is very fun. <coughs> it is fairly easy to use as well. Because, uh, well, even with the Annihilate, because the Annihilate is a bulk upset, but it's Terra Water because of Dondozo. Because Dondozo ha has been scary for this team. Uh, I've played actually a Dondozo player as well, very good player. Um, and it was very scary, even with Open Thief Sheets, to try and do something against this. And my main thing was a Bomber Snow carrying me through that entire match. Alright, this is the Wolfie Glick team. In all honesty, I don't see an issue 
with going in DD Armor Rouge. I just don't. I drag on in the back, maybe. Honestly, I do like a bumper stool. So good. And it's good in Trick Room as well, so I think I am gonna go with Obama Snow. It might not be able to hit the Serial Edge though, but it is able to hit a lot of other folk. Okay. Ortworm coming in as well. I don't know if I should Trick Room in this regard. I think I'm just able to Helping Hand plus. Expanding force in this situation, in all honesty, because I know Ortworm's uh, special defense isn't that high, even though being in the steel type, and it should be afraid of any fire move I throw out at it. I like the the position is also I'm able to um, Y guard as well, so Hyper Voice doesn't do anything. So that is also very much a possibility. Okay, we see Terrestrialize. Oh, it is the Earthworm. Terra Fairy. I don't think you're gonna survive this. <laughs> Terra Fairy. Okay. Going for the Helping Hand. I'm just expanding for us, baby. Okay, yeah, Earthworm definitely did not survive. It, has, it doesn't have the best of special defenses, unfortunately, but it is a very fun Pokemon with a fun ability, at least. Sylveon is able to go for the Hyper Voice for a bit of damage, not that much. Throat Spray? Yes. But we also have the information now that Armor Rouge is indeed faster than the Sylveon. Now, what is coming in? I wonder... Garchomp. Garchomp being able to Earthquake would hurt but I am able to go for potential trick room plus Y guard just is fine I think I could Y guard dancing gleam but I don't think I killed the Sylveon with that okay let's do it I don't want to terrestrialize just yet I just want to be able to Fully abuse uh, the power of white guard as well. Yeah, protect so the, the guard can earthquake. Gosh, I'm going for that earthquake, not affecting either of my Pokemon now. Not touching anyone. And indeed being able to go for Trick Room. Meaning I can just Dazzling Gleam plus Expanding Forest for guaranteed chaos. The Garchomp might go for a Protect, but the Sylveon will go down. See Hyper Voice doing a bit more thanks to that. Uh, thanks to that Throat Spray. Okay, and now single target Dazzling Gleam should kill the Garchomp as well. Indeed, the Armor Rouge is so strong, but people have been countering it more and more. Uh, I feel. Because, like, it is very strong. The thing is, it just doesn't hit, like, things like Hydreigon, which is why Hydreigon is such a commonly used Pokemon. And we see Quaquavel, and honestly, we can just kill this as well. Fast second battle, but that's fine. I do have to go somewhere in a bit. So being able to do this real fast does help me quite a lot. There we go. All right, let's do one more match. So the team is pretty fun. Um, the thing I lost to the last match where I was kind of disappointed that I lost was uh, against Paris Song, um, and I th there's a few things that happened that didn't go my way. Uh, my opponent was able to hit two hypnosis, which, to be fair, is 65% chance, not 50/50. Uh, 
and on the other and then I missed the potential drink meter that could have been game designing as well which is uh, unfortunate and yeah didn't feel great to do that as my last battle there but it's fine okay we see Hydreigon this time so we do know Hydreigon is pretty threatening I mean Rotom Wash actually is too but I think we're going with the heal the heal version and Hydreigon Annihilate I believe we could also bring in Didi just to be able to redirect from Annihilate in actual actuality I kind of like that let's do that I've almost no looking great like Blizzard hits everything except for the Golden Go uh, but the Golden Go needs to go for uh, his special attack move, dropping its special attack, which is not so good for it. Okay. Oh, that's a good picture with the with the Grimer. Okay, we see Sylveon plus Murkrow. Well, I can be the monster plus Sea Titan. I think there's nothing wrong with me just Aurora Veiling plus. Well, they could Terra Fire with their Sylveon, but like, would they waste their Terra that fast? They could. They potentially could. Uh, Terra Blast. Would not be a kill. I believe. I think they're not gonna. So I think I'm just gonna heavy slam into the Sylveon. Okay, no terrestrialization. I'm able to heavy slam. N oh! Didn't get a kill. This is where it would be nice if he'll still give a little bit of damage. But unfortunately, it does not. No longer do that. And we're able to set up our own Aurora Veil. Okay, and now we are able to Blizzard. Um, the Sylveon might protect, so I think I'm just gonna go into the Murkrow slot and just leave it to the Blizzard uh, to kill the Sylveon if they do not go for the... Okay, they switch out. Golden Go? Did they bring the Golden Go? Yeah, they did. Okay. We see the foul play coming out, but with Aurora Veil and my re defense, I'm able to deal with that quite well. And now we can see a single target blizzard onto the golden goal. Put a bit of damage. Now golden goal is the biggest threat here still. Um, I can keep my terrestrialization. Okay. Uh, Drake meteor plus. Okay. Doesn't quite kill me, but I'm able to potentially. Icicle Crash into that. I, I am able to Earthquake as well to just do a little bit more damage, but I think... Oh, this is rough. I think I am gonna go Icicle Crash onto the Hydreigon. Okay, they are terrestrializing. Is it the Golden Go or the Hydreigon? It is the Hydreigon. Ooh, Terra Steel. Probably the worst one for me right now. I could still potentially get a flinch, luckily for me. Okay, we see Dark Pulse coming out onto the Amorbus Gnome. Make it rain. Let's see if it kills the Sea Titan at this range. If it does, it's definitely... Oh, it doesn't! Wow! My Sea Titan is the slowest on the field, though. Which is not great. Uh, let's take a look. They only have one more turn of Tailwind. I think I am just gonna Blizzard now. And hmm. I'm just gonna. Well, they dropped their attack already, so I think I'm gonna heavy. No, that doesn't work. Uh, liquidation into the Hydreigon. 
Okay, we see Dark Pulse. Still surviving. And Mikarin. Now it's minus two. So I am a little bit more happy with my Primeape now. Well, Annihilate. Tailwind is gone. Okay, and I'm able to go in DD Annihilate. And I think I am gonna Terrestrialize. And just Dream Punch that Hydreigon. And just helping hand, making sure that we try to kill this Hydreigon. Um, because only the Hydreigon should be faster. Okay, and uh, then DR minus two, I was about to say as well. So as long as they don't crit me, I'm fine. Go, Terra Water. What are you doing? <laughs> I can't help it. I just have to. Alright, and with the helping hand, I should be able to kill this Hydreigon. Onto my Indeedee, but my Indeedee tanking that like a boss. And the Dream Punch being able to kill that as well. So I'm in a pretty good position, especially since the Golden Go, even if it's faster, it always has to go for its other move. Uh, what's it called? Um, make it rain because Shadow Ball can be redirected. Yeah, I should follow me because I can't risk uh, Shadow Ball coming out. Follow me. Substitute, okay. Meaning we do have to deal with that Sylveon. Because now it will Hyper Voice. It won't quite put it in range, but... Killing off the Sylveon then. I, I am able to go for Trick Room actually with Indeedy. Which I think I am gonna do because my Annihilate is slower anyway. What if they... No, I'm fine. I'm fine with following me. Just... Even if they sub again. Yep. Good play by me. It's, it's kind of scary. Rage Fist. Able to kill that Sylveon. And now we are guaranteed of our win as well. Because we can just follow me plus Rage Fist every day. Making sure that this uh, Golden Go can only make it rain. Yep. And that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed these battles. Uh, if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, share it with a friend, share the team. Uh, I should probably make this a team as well. You know what? I'll do that right now. Uh, because this is actually a little bit different from another team that, I, uh, that I've taken it from. But it's a bit different because I do want to have Earthquake and some other moves on my Pokemon and I changed a few IVs in there. So it is kind of a different thing, I feel. Uh, let's share it. Is that? No, that's not the one. Okay, let's do this. Okay, there we go. This is the team. We're gonna share it. 
Yes. There we go. And that is the team. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. And uh, see you guys next time. Bye.